So which ones do you want to talk about? Which ones do you see? How about your, the one on the top? Who are you with? That's you in the picture on the left. Who is that? It was a president. Carter. Yeah, President Carter came and you were hosting him. So that and then all of these, all of these awards are things that you earned and people honored you and were proud of what you did. He was diagnosed with Lewy body's dementia at um, the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. That was 2008. It's really a combination of Parkinson's and dementia. Breakfast time. Are you okay? Not really. All right, you wanna just stand for a minute? Friends in Action believes family caregivers matter. And we provide education and support uh, for family members, friends, neighbors who are caring for someone who can't meet their own daily needs because of illness or disability. And so how do we extend the knowledge that we have uh, and make it accessible to more, to more people. Well, we're doing that through volunteers. Hi, Hi Cheryl. Cheryl. How are you? How are you? Good to see Good you today. today. The support we provide is caregiver respite. How are you doing? Doing great, I guess. <laughs> a chance for the caregiver to have a break. And Legacy Core is one of our programs. Legacy Core is um, helping veterans who need a respite for the spouse, which is my situation. I come in, I spend time with Chuck so that Margot can leave and, and go do some things she needs to do to take care of herself. Kisses goodbye. Love you. Love you too. All right, thank you, Cheryl. All right, see, see you, you later. later. We know that stress is significantly reduced for caregivers who seek and accept respite so that when they go back home to provide care, they've got energy and they have, they have hope that they can continue doing this hard work. It gives me the time to leave Chuck knowing in my mind that he's safe, he's being cared for, he's being loved, and I don't have to worry. We meet volunteers wherever they're at with their background and their experience. If there is a willingness to make a difference in people's lives, then we welcome people as volunteers. It's just enriching all the way around. And I don't think you have to worry about necessarily the skills you bring, but just be there. That's gotta be Margo. Which one? Right here? That's Margo, isn't it? It probably is. We're never gonna replace the efforts that families provide in caring for someone that they love. And the education programs we offer are all focused on helping caregivers develop tools and skills to be able to manage the challenges of being a caregiver and take care of themselves in the process. Thanks for calling, what can I do for you? We can change the course of a caregiver and their family's life. And that's what we need help, financial help, to, to accomplish that. We need more volunteers to be able to accomplish that because we believe we can. Bye, bye. bye. Thanks bye. again. Really bye. appreciate it. It's a, it's a blessing. It really, really is. Mm -hmm.